Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Health Fitness 1047. Today, we wish you a good day. And then, here is this episode new. Follow up. One Demi Lovato on child star doc and pressure of child stardom Demi Lovato shares her philosophy of living without regrets despite making questionable decisions in her life in her new documentary child star which she produced and co-directed she explores the challenges faced by former teen idols including her own experiences with bullying and emotional trauma while growing up in the spotlight the film, now streaming on Hulu, highlights the highs and lows of fame and the lack of support she felt during her early career, leading her to consider stepping away from acting. 2. Investigation into Alaskan Surgeon's Death Uncovers Secrets 2020 Cold-Blooded, the text introduces a new season of the show, 2020, focusing on a complex case involving the death of a beloved doctor, Dr. Garcia. He is found dead in his home, raising questions about the circumstances surrounding his death, including whether it was due to natural causes, self-inflicted, or murder. The scene reveals that the house has been robbed, with valuables missing, adding to the mystery. The narrator expresses confusion and a desire for answers regarding the case. 3. Abandoned Hollywood Hills Mansion Covered in Graffiti Taken over by taggers and squatters neighbors on multi-view drive in Holland are frustrated with an abandoned mansion that has become a safety hazard, covered in graffiti and frequented by squatters. Despite multiple calls to the police, who have responded and cleared the property, squatters return quickly. Tensions have escalated, with reports of violence, including an attack on a neighbor. Recently, private security was involved in removing trespassers, while the LAPD has responded to the property six times this month for trespassing incidents. 4. Biden holds cabinet meeting to discuss administration priorities in a cabinet meeting. The speaker emphasizes the urgent need for Congress to pass a continued resolution within the next 10 days. This short-term funding bill is essential for national defense, veterans, and families, and is seen as the only viable path forward. The speaker calls for bipartisan cooperation and expresses confidence in leadership to achieve this goal. With four months remaining in the administration, the focus remains on delivering results for the American people and implementing previously passed historic laws. 5. We have the support of the people, Venezuela opposition leader says Venezuelan officials have detained a fourth U.S. citizen, accused of being involved in a plot to overthrow President Nicolas Maduro. This arrest coincides with a UN Human Rights Council report highlighting a surge in violence against Maduro's opponents, including arrests, sexual abuse, and torture, with some victims being children. The UN warns that this instability may lead to an increase in Venezuelans fleeing the country, potentially towards the US. The US State Department has denied any involvement in the alleged plot against Maduro. Six. Late billionaire Mohammed Al Fayed accused of raping five women Five women have come forward with accusations of sexual assault against the late billionaire Mohammed Al Fayed. Former owner of Harrods Department Store. The allegations, reported by former employees to the BBC, claim that Al Fayed sexually assaulted them during his ownership of the luxury store. Al Fayed, who died last year 
was a prominent Egyptian businessman known for his connections with royalty and is depicted in the Netflix series, The Crown, as the matchmaker for his son Dodi and Princess Diana. The women describe Al-Fayed as predatory and recount terrifying experiences of assault. 7. Bloody drug cartel eruption in Sinaloa as dozens are left dead a major city in the state of Sinaloa, Mexico has been paralyzed by violence following the arrests of key cartel leaders, including the son of notorious drug lord El Chapo Guzman. The Sinaloa cartel is experiencing significant upheaval, particularly after the arrest of Ismael Zambada, who has accused Guzman's son of kidnapping him to facilitate his extradition to the U.S. in the state capital, Culiacan. There has been a surge in infighting among cartel factions over the past two weeks, resulting in numerous deaths. 8. Sen. Tim Kaine at the polls as early in-person voting begins in three key states early voting is taking place today in Minnesota, South Dakota, and Virginia. In Arlington, Virginia, Democrats are hosting a block party to encourage voter turnout, capitalizing on the enthusiasm surrounding Kamala Harris' campaign. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine, who recently spoke at the event, noted a significant increase in enthusiasm since Harris became the nominee, suggesting that this energy may not have been present if President Biden were at the top of the ticket. 9. Official trailer, Scamanda, Premier Amanda Riley was a beloved mother, wife, and speaker at her church who was diagnosed with stage 3 blood cancer. The community rallied around her, offering prayers and financial support, with donations totaling over $20,000. However, it was later revealed that Amanda had faked her illness, leading to feelings of betrayal among those who had supported her. Despite the initial devastation of her diagnosis, her actions shocked many. As she had gone to great lengths to maintain the facade of having cancer. 10. Kentucky Sheriff Sean Steins arrested after fatal shooting of Judge A Kentucky Sheriff is in custody following the fatal shooting of District Judge Kevin Mullen in his chamber at the Lee County Courthouse. Witnesses reported an argument between the sheriff. 43-year-old Sean Stein, and the judge before multiple gunshots were heard. Law enforcement agencies responded to the scene around 3 p.m., where they found Mullen, 54, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigations are ongoing to determine the events leading up to the shooting.